All right, so what we're talking about today is being able to graph radical functions. And so really we need to know what the different types of roots look like. We have a square root, a third root, a fourth root, and a fifth root. And so the easiest way to do this is if I just graph the square root of x. And if I graph this, it starts at zero and it kind of goes up flatly. And really, it's that starting point that's going to be the most important for us. The domain for this one is that x is greater than or equal to 0 because it goes to the right of 0. And then the range is also that x is, or that y is greater than or equal to 0 because it goes above. Okay, so let's look to see what happens with the third root. So I'm going to do x to the power of 1 third. That's the quickest way for me to type it in. And I graph this one, and this time, it kind of goes both ways, okay? So, kind of curves up and then makes a little S and goes this way. Okay, but again, it's that point that matters. The domain for this one is all reals and the range is also all reals. Let's see what happens when we do the fourth root. <clears throat> so, X to the power of one-fourth. And if you notice, it kind of looks the same as the square root. It's a little flatter, but it's pretty much the same idea, which just goes up in one direction. And so this one, the x is greater than 0, y is greater than or equal to 0, because it goes up and goes to the right. <clears throat> and then let's try the last one, the fifth root. And if you notice, this one also kind of looks like the third root, where it looks like kind of like an S. And so I'm hoping you recognize the pattern of what happens. All reals and all reals. Odd roots are like the third and the fifth root, where they're going to kind of make an S. And it's all reals and all reals. Even roots only go one direction. And so you have to actually figure out what the domain and range is of these. Okay, so we're getting back into transformations, which you had gotten pretty good at. Okay, remember that the A in front, that's the thing that either shrinks or stretches. If it's negative, it's going to be a vertical flip. So instead of it going up like it does here, it would go down the other way, so it would be down. H, remember whatever's with the X is the left or right. And remember it's always the opposite. And it's for this point, it's telling you where that point is, or this point. It's telling you that point goes to the left or right. <coughs> if you have a negative X inside, this is a horizontal flip, so it's going to make it face backwards. And then K, remember K is that outside number that's kind of with the Y, and so this is up or down. So it's just going to make your graph go up or down. And again, it's this point that goes up or down, or it's this point that goes up or down. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do some examples. <coughs> All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do some examples. If you could go ahead and write these down. And the thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to describe the transformation, graph it, and then we're going to need to state the domain of it. So the first one, you notice how it says the square root of x plus 3. Well, x plus 3, remember, whatever's with the x is always the left and the right. And so this one is going to the left 3 because it's always the opposite of what's with the x. And then this last number is a plus 1, so it's telling me it goes up 1. So that's the point that's important. So I'm going to go to the left 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to go up 1. That's the point that matters. <coughs> that's the point when you graph it, I need to be able to know that it came from this transformation. Now, a square root you should remember kind of goes up and flat. And so that's the graph. Now for the domain, um, 
Oh, and we want to find the domain and range. I forgot to say that. So for the domain for this one, it goes to the right of negative 3. So x is greater than negative 3. For the range, it goes up at the 1. So y is greater than 1. And that's the domain and range. Okay. For number 2, you start off by saying what happened with the x. It says minus 2, so I know the x went somewhere. And remember, it's always opposite of that. So it goes to the right, 2. This last number is the y value, so it went up, 4. But then this negative, you need to say what happened to that. And that flips it down. So it's a vertical flip. If it's in the inside, it's a flip horizontal because it's with the x. But on the outside, you can say that it's a vertical flip. So I'm going to graph my point to the right, two, up, four. Again, that's the point that I need to see. Some of you are making your graphs just go through, but I need to specifically see that point. Okay, so the third root, because it's flipped vertically, instead of going up, it's going to go down. And remember, the third root goes both ways. Okay, <clears throat> and so my domain, it goes to the left and to the right, so it's all reals. And my range, even though it doesn't look like it goes up, it does go up and it does go down, so it's also all reals. And hopefully you also remember from our um, notes that whenever you have odd roots, it's all reals. Okay, all right, go ahead and copy three and four and see if you can explain the transformation graph it and state the domain and range. When you have it, go ahead and press play. So this negative 2 is not underneath this radical. You see this radical stops here. So I'm not going left or right. All I'm going is I'm going down 2. And this 1 half, this is a shrink of 1 half. And I'm not really, I don't really care if you get this part as much. I am more focused on if you can find out where the point is and what direction it's going in. So I'm just supposed to go down to, so there's my point, and it's the fourth root. Um, so I'm just going up and to the right, and that's it. We're not going the other way because even roots only go up or go one direction. My domain. It starts when x is 0, so it goes to the right of 0. And my range, it goes above negative 2, so y is greater than negative 2. Over here, again, nothing's with the x, so it doesn't go left and right. This right here, this flips it horizontally. So instead of going up to the right, it's going to end up going to the left. This outside number out here tells me to go up 3. And this 2 is a stretch. And again, stretching and shrinking, I'm not too worried about. I'm worried about the other things. Because stretching and shrinking, you can see when you graph it in your calculator if you have to. So I'm just supposed to go up 3. So I make my point here. Usually I'm going to go up and to the right. But this is a horizontal flip because it's with the x. So I'm going to go up and to the left. And so for this one, my domain goes to the left. So it's less than 0. It still goes up. So my range is greater than 3 because 1, 2, 3. So make sure that you understand when it goes left and right, it's with the x. When it goes up and down is on the outside. And when you're going to flip up or flip left and right. <clears throat>